right, so it's me, my lady, we got Blue Boy, we got Maddie, we got Sai Sai, we got Baby Anaya, and we're on our way to Melville, Long Island to pick up a dog that was just found wandering the streets. We received an email with pictures of a dog that has a big open infected wound on its chest. He also had some kind of collar around his neck or some kind of rope that he must have been tied up to. So we're going to go scoop him up. We're going to bring him to Grady, get him the medical attention he needs. We're also going to check him for a chip. So we're on our way. Hi. I'm with the bully crew. Yes, you have a dog? How are you doing? Hi. Yeah. Hey, bud. Hey. Hey, okay. no, he's just fine. Oh, okay, baby. Okay. Wow, he looks, uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. That's my only concern. Okay. okay. That's not from a leash. Yeah, no? I mean, look. Here. He's got this here, too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I yeah, that, he's... I mean, it looks like, I, I, I don't know. I, it's a good question, but well, it's definitely he not. The, the, he had on one of those, I don't know where it is, um, those metal collars. Oh, and he was kind of hanging oh, when he was walking maybe. and the leash was under him. Yeah, let me see. Come so I'm thinking if I'm going back and forth. Oh, no, maybe? this this is infected. This oh. is, yeah, yeah, he's got a massive infection here. Yeah, we were getting ready yeah. to take him over to North Shore. He's not really eating. He did eat regular food, but he won't eat the dog food. Yeah, I don't blame him. So, <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. We're going to, you know what? I'm going to take him to the vet right now. We'll check him for a chip. And then, uh, and then I'll, I'll, I'll be in touch with your, uh, I'll be in touch with your daughter. Okay, you're welcome. All right, come on, bud. Let's go. Let's go get you fixed up. Come on. Come on. Okay, so today you're gonna to see your boys, Corona and Drama, which so I know excited. I know you guys have are dying to be reunited to, to take those guys for a walk and I think um, we'll get introduced to one of our little females that we rescued from Puerto Rico. Same Aww. thing. Okay. So yay. We'll get to meet <laughs> Puerto Rico, yeah. <laughs> so you get to meet her and get some love from uh, our old boys. Yeah. We're yay. so excited, we're looking forward to it. <laughs> She still needs to put on some healthy weight. Um, the story goes is Pixie is microchipped to an owner who the officer did call to, 
say that they found the dog and the owner said that she does not want the dog. She gave the dog two years back to her ex-husband. She doesn't care about the dog. She didn't care what kind of condition the dog was in. And she ultimately just hung up and could not be reached after that. So once this um, dog was chipped and to an owner, the vet couldn't give us possession of her until the vet did um, their work and she was on a hold. So she stayed at the vet, they took care of her. And finally, after over a week, we were able to take possession of her. And now she's with us. Pixie is very, very sweet. She um, clearly likes to eat some leaves. <laughs> um, she would love to be in a loving home. And um, if you'd like to learn more about her, please go to <laughs> nybullycrew.org. So it's me and my lady and we're at JFK Airport and we're picking up Brooklyn. Brooklyn just came in from Puerto Rico. Uh, she has chronic ear infections from someone cutting her ears off with scissors. She also has other medical problems going on and her foster down in Puerto Rico was running out of time with her living situation. So they reached out to us and we agreed to take her. So we're going inside right now to scoop her up and bring her back to the rescue. And uh, Jen, our, our famous foster Jen, just texted me and said that she's gonna open her home to her. So I'm really excited that she doesn't have to go to the rescue. So we're gonna go get her right now and we're gonna bring her to Jen's. All right, come with us. We just picked up Brooklyn from JFK. She's in the back seat right now. Uh, she's a lot worse than I thought she was. Her ears are definitely infected and looks like that she has almost growths coming out of them. She is limping. It looks like she might have two tumors on her back legs. Obviously, her nipples are sagging because she was overbred and she's really in really, really bad shape. But the good news is, is that uh, Mac was in the back seat when I put her in. She loved him. She loves all of us. She loves baby Anaya. And we're on our way, most likely, to go straight to Grady to get her checked out real quick. I'm still trying to confirm that with Grady if we can get her in because I didn't think she was this bad. I didn't make prior arrangements to bring her there, but I'm sure they're going to accommodate us like they always do. Yeah, I do. I actually do. Yeah, believe okay. it or not. Hi. Where's this one from? Hi. Uh, Mary Glenn, you, what is, I mean, this is just a huge mess. Puerto Rico, yeah. Okay. She's a disaster. Mary Glenn tumors, you got yeah. something going on with your ear, huh? Yeah. Both. Oh, good. Yeah. You call me? And, uh, and back here, she's got, I don't know what the hell this is. Man, where do you want to start? I mean, the ears, I guess. She was overbred and neglected, obviously. Oh, that doesn't yeah. need to and her ears were cut with scissors and that's why they think the infection started. One of our followers said that this looks like the cancer that was in their dog's ear. Yeah, I mean, I would tell you, I mean, the other thing is too that can definitely lead you to think cancer is squamous cell carcinoma, which is a big skin tumor because of sun exposure and she's a blue pit, like it's a blue dog. The whites and the blues get it most. I mean, just looking at that right I can't, I can't fix it without surgery. I mean, it's, it needs a tita. 
So it needs, it's You're talking that, about the ears now. Yeah. yeah, the ear canals need to come out because all of that stuff, it's basically just a, it's, it's adenoma. It's just all this glandular tissue that's overproducing. She had, she can't hear. She probably hasn't been able to hear in a while. Well, actually, believe it or not, uh, she, she, uh, I think she responds to like my clap. Well, yeah, they well, can that, probably feel like yeah, vibrations vibration, and yeah. stuff. I mean, I would just tell you, based on the way those look, I mean, the only way to fix that is to take out the entire ear canal. Would we test it for cancer first, or do you think the best thing to do is just let's take it well, out? Well, I would worry say, about it later? I mean, here's the problem: you have to pick and choose because she has mammary tumors, which she has ear tumors. So the first thing you would do to even see if she's a good surgical candidate is to do a chest X-ray. If she has multiple types of tumors and any of them are likely to spread to the chest. You would check that before going through any sort of surgical procedure because you want to make sure that there's the prognosis is still okay. You know, because these memory gland tumors, I mean, you know, half of them are malignant and half of them are just, you know, are benign. So, yeah, I would yeah, do a okay. chest x ray first. Okay. And I would do blood work to even see if she's a good surgical candidate. Okay. okay those are the two things. And then, ideally, for a dog like this, I mean, you have to figure which surgery is. The most important, you know, because you can't do all of these types yeah, of things. I think we're going to leave once. that up to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I know. I and I would say is because all of these are major. I mean, these are these are big procedures, so you have to stage them. And you also, again, my biggest concern would be making sure there's nothing else going on that would even prohibit surgery altogether. See, that's what kills me. If we were to pull one out of here, this little guy would be like, what's going on? Let's go home. Well, thank you.